Hello, welcome back to Wild Frost. It is 7.30. I'm a little later today. I did something. I don't know what it was, though. Earlier this afternoon. Oh, I made lunch. That's what I did. It was a big undertaking, because I... And by a big undertaking, I mean it took me like an hour or two, and then I was like, okay. Well, not an hour or two, it took like 45 minutes. And I was like, alright, I'm gonna take a breather. And now I'm here. Hold on. What did I play yesterday? I know, I know it was Blunky. With a sun charm. There was a shell charm on my hero. I think we were snow. I... I don't remember. And I don't feel like opening Firefox to check. So I'm just going to assume we were snow. If I'm wrong, uh, call me. Wow, this hero is crazy. Three times two on four? With 11 HP? This hero is so good. I'll take it. And we'll go a little gazi. The other thing I did, because obviously I didn't spend like seven hours recovering from eating lunch. Someone in my Discord, shout out to Discord, I don't know if he watches these videos or not. But they were running a uh, playthrough of Super Mega Baseball 2 with characters named after the members of my Discord. It was fun and we just had the World Series today. It was, uh, we won. Spoilers. It was a good time, I, I enjoyed it. And yeah, that's the other thing I did today. It was like it was a you know it was like maybe two hours of super mega baseball. Good time. We had fun. Oh, I'm not having fun anymore. Oh, winter worm with teeth is not very good. Okay, uh, let's get to work. It's just gonna be we have to hit him a lot of times. I'm gonna knock him low and ideally freeze the goblin if I have time. I just want to get him to a point where my hero only takes three. Which I think we do pretty easily. I can kill him, actually. Tarboid, Tarboid, Blizzard Bottle, Tarboid. Or no, Junjun can do it. Go get him, champ. Because I prefer Junjun does it so that I get more time to hit the goblin for more money. That's the other thing. We got... 4-4. Four, four. I think it's good to go 4-4 four, four on the goblin and just call it a 2-kill. Because the other play is to kill the snow knight. You either kill the goblin or the snow knight there. Either one is fine. This round looks off to a great start. I think the best thing to pick up here is going to be Skull Mist T. Skull Mist T plus bird. I'm down to just play around the hero, right? Like I've been saying, I think that it's good to just play a solid standard line because if I play a solid standard early game, that means that I have time to grab things like Blunky and see if we hit something crazy. And that's the plan. Grab a little something, see if we hit. I'm gonna go no cave. I'm good to go top path. I have been thinking I want to play... Like, these YouTube videos, I try my best to keep them... Um, Interesting, right? I try to do good things. I kind of want to stream this game a little bit and uh, just grind good runs to build up the win streak. I don't know if I'm going to get around to it, but I kind of want to do that. Oh, Blunky Foxy Bird. I am not in a position where I want to pick Blunky yet. I already have a unit better than Foxy, so I'm going to pick Bird. We're not in a strong stable position, so I'm going to pick the good card here. If we're in a strong stable position there, I'll probably pick uh, Blunky. But we can go a little bird. Another HP charm on an enemy is a little bit annoying, but I'll survive. I can go triple Tarblade Uba Bear. You can go 3 2 Blizzard Bottle, and then it uh, lines up with the hero killing. I'll go Blizzard Bottle over Jun Jun Mask, I think. That's fine. And then Hero and Lil' Gazi go kill the Snow Gobbler. Easy to kill. I love money. I love money. I love money. It's just very good if you have the damage to stay on pace. And I feel like a lot of what makes this game easier to me now is I understand what run or what you do in runs to stay on pace. And that's all that really matters here. We're gonna go Bird in front of Frostinger and then Junjun in front of Uba Bear. I am going to let the goblin go, and that's fine with me, because I'm setting up for a two kill. Here, I'll give him a one- I'll give him a one tap on the way out. Mm, hold on. Porcupine is hitting a two. Okay. 
That's okay. I'm gonna kill my bird though now instead. I care a little more. I don't want my bird to die for nothing, I think. It's not worth four gold. I think the bird is gonna be worth something more than that. But, you know, it's whatever. It's, it's all the same, right? The early game I'm finding in runs where I play solid standard, the first two combats are borderline unlosable. Take something really bad to make it losable. We can go here, we'll freeze Uba Bear. And then we go Bird deals five, I'll swap him over to Chikasan here. And then we go four four four. Give me Chikasan, clear out the freeze. Four four four. Or I can do I can do it this way. It's a little bit better to have it go to Bumbo. Either way, right? It doesn't matter too much. All I really care about is making sure I get some money. And we have plenty here, I would say. These dogs are gonna keep barking. I will pause until they're done. Yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, I think they're done. And what do we got? Uh, nothing too scary here. I prefer it when the shop is guaranteed and you actually get to pick your path. Like, you know how they converge and then the shop is right before it, but this is fine. Mega Mimic is pretty good here. Yeah, it's it's strong, even with the nerf. I don't mind it. The nerf is really a buff because it makes it less annoying to fight against Mega Mimic. Uh, moment of truth, how much does the crown cost here? Hmm. I haven't had a cool, fun Groff run lately. I have been wanting to give Monch another go, but is this the run for it? Nah, I don't feel like it. I think I think Monch sucks, but now we're getting back around to try... I, I'm gonna save Monch for when we do the win with every card challenge, because I think Monch is not good. But I'm sure you can make a run where he works. Flame Blade Charm? Ah, okay. Now that's a banger. And we get... It is 80 gold. Well, well, well. What do you know? This run is now an overburn run, by the way. Normally the correct choice here would be to pick Molten Dip, but I'm going to play around overburning. And I think what that means is I want to grab Agile Battle Axe and Charm. I guess I should look at the Charm first. It's free information. Frost Hand Charm? Alright. Alright. Yeah. And... Pardon me, I'm very tired today. We're gonna put a Flame Blade Charm on Groff. And then the play down the line is to play uh, Lumen Vase Groff, and that's on Sacrifice, apply 20 Overburn. It does not take many 20 Overburns to win fights. I'll tell you that. That's free info. Mm. Baby Snowbow's annoying. But that's okay. We will Carblade our bird, Grop will put up 10 Overburn. And we want to wait until after this spawns in to play the Agile Battle Axe. So you can hit my bird for 1. You do 3-6, which is fine. Oh, we're going to see that same Agile Battle Axe problem here. Uh, we saw it recently with our last run, which was an Overburn Hero problem where my hero did the 1 plus 3 and we missed some. It's not going to make a noticeable difference here, though. Bird attacks. I don't have anything to play here. I'll play Tarboy. I want to hold this hand because I want to play Agile Battle Axe. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! Hold on. I did miss something there. I think the best play is to Snowcake my hero. The best play was to Snowcake Bird last turn, but I could not because I didn't think about it. So I'm going to freeze my hero now. I don't want to pop Bamboozle's Overburn right away. I want to wait for these two enemies to spawn in. One of them has a block charm. Society. Society. It should have just been I clear the board and the game is free. But society said otherwise. Mm, that's okay. I should redraw here because I'm always going to draw a Tarboid to kill my bird. We'll go bop bop. You're at... Uh, four. Are there... 
many enemies spawn in here? Two. Okay. That's fine. Bring them to me. Maybe Snowbow, Snowbow. I... Oh, I just play Mega Mimic. This is the guaranteed clear of the row. Yeah, yeah, I see it, I see it, I see it. Don't you worry. Mega Mimic wipes all of that out. Bam does threaten here. Gotta be aware. There's also two more enemies spawning. What do we got? Snow Gobbler, of course. I guess I'll just win the fight. I was thinking I could fight it out and try to get something out of the Snow Gobbler, but I'm happy to just leave. I'll take my three kill and call it a good day. Mega Mimic really popped off in this fight. I took him, I wasn't excited to pick him, because I didn't think he was going to really do much, but I talked myself into it, and yeah, Mega Mimic kind of went off. This is definitely Crown plus Smackback. I don't think anything is good for Balance Charm here. Not like you can Balance Charm Groff or anything. So Crown Smackback is fine. I think what we're going to find with this new system is that I'm going to pick Bells a lot less than you would expect. Because with the number of crowns that you can reliably land, it just doesn't really matter, does it? Oh, sometimes you do have to take junk for your vase. That sucks. Well, I've just been lucky two out of three times. Skullman's T? Hmm. So the line where you just play around hero doing damage is also very good here. But it's too late. I'm not playing Skullman's T now. I'm playing Groff. Although, you know what? Skullman's T is still good because it says kill an ally. The only other card here is Shade Clay. But this says kill an ally on it, which is very good. I don't care about the rest of the text. None of that matters. Crowns matter a lot for this deck, so I'm just going to take it. The more crowns we have, the better Groff's setup is... Because we get to just start popping enemies turn one, which sets us ahead, and when you're ahead, you stay ahead. As I'm sure you're well aware. And the crown sunburst 2-2. Two -two. It's an easy way to do one to bird. And we're gonna smack back charm Groff. The perfect finishing charm for this deck is a plus HP charm. Oh, I was, um... It was a shell charm in the last run. Although, I, can you get shell charm as any clan? Oh man, now I don't know. Here, I'll put a consume on the junk. Just cuz. I'll put weakness out on Tarblade. I may as well. Yeah, so we'll go... We'll, we'll pretty much win the fight turn one. As is often the case these days. I'm... Mm, I'm gonna respect the Makoko here. I think. I'm just gonna kill him fast. Turn one kill Makoko is good. I didn't want to waste Mega Mimic hits there, although maybe I should have. But I kind of just want to press the bell. I think I will. See what comes in. Yeah, because this that's what I thought. This does bring me a Makoko, and a Makoko fucks up the world with my smack back Groff. It really is Groff's day. Because we go here, and this is a 5 kill. Oh, I'm stupid. I'm so dumb. Oh, I'm so stupid. Oh, no. Oh, I've embarrassed myself for the last time. Because it gives five spice to everyone, not just in the row. You gotta read the card. Tragic. Okay. It's not the end of the world, but it is a shame. I confused it with the other enemy in this one, which is the Pepper Witch, which is when hit, apply spice to the row. These are all allies. A shame. So I should now play... It's still fine, I just play Skullness T and walk home. I'm gonna play Junjun Mask first, because Junjun will help me kill the King Moko. Mm -hmm. I don't hate letting my bird take a swing here. Yeah, it doesn't hurt us. It actually kills the Grog, which is good. We freeze there, and now we play Skullness T. On bird, of course. But I kind of want to let them spawn in, but... Eh, probably not. We just skull Miss TR bird up. We'll go one, two, three, four. Oh, Gun Gun goes first. Slight miscalculation on my end. It doesn't matter too much. The most important thing to do here is make sure 
I kill this Makoko. Once this Makoko is dead, everything is fine. I think that I will Snowcake the Pepper Witch. I'll take one from the Makoko. Snowcake the Pepper Witch, I just ignore this unit now. I take one from the Makoko on this turn because my bird comes down with the tar blade for two to kill. Then I press the bell here. And now we just start killing King Moko. Oh, I'm gonna press Berry Bell here. Because I want to keep this Jun Jun standing, actually. This Jun Jun is valuable. Hey, why didn't he keep his spice? Hmm. That doesn't seem right. Oh well. My hero drops 26. My hero will get another attack in, and then I win the fight. Uh, my hero will get another attack in, I said to myself, cluelessly. 18. I can... okay. I can guarantee 18 and 15 hit with two turns. No, it's 18 and 18 is 36, plus 3 from Agile Battle Axe is 39. Okay, I need to redraw for Sunburst 2 2. And then my hero beats King Moko in the initiative. And if I draw now, it's guaranteed. Because the line that I was looking at there, you just want to check uh, if you want to do the math with me. Uh, you have Agile Battle Axe Tarblade in hand, so you can kill the Pepper Witch with that. And then you'll get three to King Moko, guarantee Jun Jun's hit. If Jun Jun wins the flip here, I'm sure I'm winning, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm winning anyway. A slight miscalculation on my part puts us in a scary place, though. Very slight miscalculation. A one, one little keyword misread. But that's fine. I'll remember it for the future. That doesn't bother me too much. Down HP though, maybe it's a little annoying. What's it gonna be today? Heartmas Station, Tiger Skull, Totem of the Goat. I'm okay without any of these. I know I said uh, Skullmas T says kill an ally, but we're not having trouble killing our allies. Clearly. I love a charm. I think fishing for hog headed. I, fishing for any health charm is good here for uh, Groff. Anything to let Groff take more than one hit. Cloudberry Charm? Well, not really. It's fine, but it's not what I want to commit to right now. But I also don't mind coming here for the Muncher. I can give Muncher a junk. And... I think I want to keep Berry Belt. It can be a Tarblade. And... The 3 HP is a little problematic. I think it's fine, though. In a lot of cases, I'm okay. Yeah, this is the perfect case. There's a lot of... A lot, pardon me. There's a lot of other cases where I think it gets a little more frightening. So I don't know what that was. Something stuck in my throat, maybe. But... Yeah, I'm not too worried about this, because we just kill the marrow and then this fight is free. Well, free-ish. Because there's no teeth, which means we get to get ahead. You die. Mimic gets a 5 in up here. When I kill again, Groff goes off. I can play a little Gazi here. I have time. I have a smack back if I want to play it to let Groff just kill the Gromble. What's the timer? 3 and 4. It's aimless on the smack back, though. So what I should do is I should play Azure Battle Axe this turn to kill the smog. This cleans up the aimless. Now I press the wave bell. And this gets me one of the pawpaws killed for free. Yeah. Well, I take two damage on Groff, to be fair. But free-ish. And I will berry bell. We just have to deal with one pawpaw. Ah, uh, that's not right. Excuse me. Hey, Mega Mimic. You're not supposed to do that, buddy. That is that is not how the mechanic works anymore. 
they change you. Uh, that was a bug. That was a different bug than uh, Mega Mimic proccing off of himself. Mega Mimic was Mega Mimic proc there because I move my units around a bunch. We've seen this bug before in other forms. It pops up every now and then. It's okay. Bird kills Paw Paw and it's fine. But very curious, isn't it? I will not be spawning in Maja because that would be a mistake. Ah, enemy wave bell. Did you know you can summon the enemies early? I sure didn't. Uh, we will now summon the enemies early. We have a super freeze for Maja. Uh, Pawpaw's annoying, but it's not that bad. We just lock Maja out of the game and the fight's over. Okay, I have successfully recovered from my own hubris and foolishness, I do believe. Because now I just play Skull Misty and Groff pops off. Hits one, explodes, hits one here. Pawpaw is fine. Really just a great testament to the flexibility of the bird. Look at how much hard work our Chikashi Chika has put in here. Tanks a bunch of damage for you, procs so many Groff summons. It's really just a perfect unit. Groff goes, or Chikashi Chika goes nuts here. Alright, and I will not make that mistake again. It's, you know, it is nice to see though that even after, what, like 200 hours of playing this game, there are still circumstances that I don't see. Game keeps you on your toes a little bit, I would say. Show me Chuckle Charm, cowards. I know I've asked for it every run, but show it to me again. That's not Chuckle Charm. That's very much not Chuckle Charm. I'm gonna take every crown, we're gonna grab Loom and Goop. And I'll buy some charms. I'm one short. Too bad. Hog headed, hey, that's what I was looking for. Alright, I'm gonna settle. We're just gonna play hog headed Groff and call it good. Makes my life a lot easier if Groff has another 7 HP. I am a big proponent of just cheesing this fight out. Me personally, huge fan of just saying no reason to really think here. I love... I haven't been doing it much lately, but if you have Snowcake and you're walking into the Truffle slash Crunker fight, you can just spend two crowns to trivialize the boss. I don't do it much, but... You can just do this. Alright, Truffle. See you when you thaw out in 24 turns. So, by the, if I were to just end turn every turn, Truffle would not get the swing until my hero has gone... Uh, on my hero's 7th attack, Truffle would get to go. Is what it looks like here. 5-10. I'm good with Sunburst 2-2-ing two here. Goes 5, hit... I don't, I don't really want to start hitting Truffle, though. I'd rather kill the Shroom Gobbler first. And that's the explosion. He's gonna split. Nothing you can really do about it. Excuse me, Groff. And we're gonna split him again here. And uh, this is a choice. I could do it by... I could not split him if I wanted to. Hey, Mega Mimic. Okay, maybe Mega Mimic is actually just bugged. There's no way he's supposed to be proccing there. Curious. Okay, so I hit my bird for three. You two deal decent damage. We're gonna get another split. I'm not super worried about money in this fight, so I'm happy to just kind of leave it. Which is likely what we're going to want to do here. Hmm. Or... Hear me out here. I pop off. Okay, so it would go 6 plus 5, you would not split. You can't split, there's no room. I'm gonna play Agile Battle Axe like this. Mm, no, I'm gonna play Agile Battle Axe like this. And that'll give me the setup on this truffle. Or so he's down five, right? And then it goes two enemies in three turns. I don't want them to bring in more enemies. I want the room for Groff to go off here when I play Skull Misty. It'll split this truffle. 
And then they both explode, yep. And then we set this one up for death. Now you're allowed to spawn in, I suppose. Eight and five, you'll split and then they'll both explode. I'm good. It's hard to get another kill until I hit Junjun. But I'm not 100% certain of what's going to happen here. I kind of want to press the bell. I'm not 100% sure of how this pans out, though. Let's play a Junjun. I'm not going to do the math either. I'm just going to let it go. That's the split. Okay, yeah. It went about... It went... A little bit better than I hoped. It could have been slightly better than that, though. Three more enemies? Yeah, bring them on. I feel like I've been doing so much killing, and there's still more. What are you down? You're down three. I have three turns, so I could play... I can play Vase on Graw, Blade on Truffle. Because we want them to split here. So it goes like this. You go Vase on Groff. Junjun goes here. Here, I think. We Tarblade Truffle. Junjun goes to two after his attack. And I think... I mean, I'm not going to die for this. I think this will be good. Because Groff goes first. I think I'm gonna clean them up here. This is pre-combat as well. Yeah, because it's gonna split them to both explode. It's not quite the cleanup I had expected because these guys looked at one. But you know what? Good enough. I'll take it. Man, Moko Charm on Groff would have been pretty cool. Oh well. Moko Charm, do I want to put it on anyone? It's good on everyone here, to be fair. Plus one card draw. What would I Moko Charm? It really does go well on everything here, because... I mean, I, my hero particularly. But it's good on whatever I put it on, because I have Skull Misty. So I'll take it, just to be safe. And I guess we can play plus one card draw. I don't care too much about that Teeth Charm. I should probably have taken Lil Gazi out of this run a little while ago. That's okay, though. Ooh, no Numskull. What a shame. I would have loved to have gathered around and beat the shit out of him. <laughs> I didn't know B-Pop could come with Faith Charm, actually. Tiger Charm, Frog Charm, Moose Charm. Moose Charm... If I was Skull Misting Bird on turn one, it would be good, but I am not, so it is not. Put it on my hero. Five, five turn timer for four times three? That is pretty solid. Hmm. Yeah, why not? I almost just want to buy things because it's fun to buy things, but I don't have anything to spend. Like, I don't I don't need any of those charms. It's just fun to do. Oh, I wanted to change my crowns. Actually, hmm, I guess it's fine this way. I want to be sure that I freeze the big guy turn one. Yeah, the big hog. We don't want this guy running around on us. No free reign for him. I, we're getting to the point, too, where I could just toss out Mega Mimic and be pretty happy about it. So it would go one, two, explode. Come down here, take one, explode. That looks fine. So Tarblade, and then it goes one, two. Oh, I shouldn't have Mega Mimic in the row. It's a wasted attack. It's okay. I mean, like I was saying, Mega Mimic really isn't doing much for us here now, is he? I'll just kill this hog myself. What's coming in? Five enemies? Sure. I got nothing better to do. Oh, well, that hog kind of kind of slaps. I don't like that guy. Okay. Groff gets hit. So it's positioned like this. I'm gonna Agile Battle Axe Bird. Groff... Oh, Groff just kills everything, actually, when I do this. I'm just scared that it's gonna randomly explode on me, even though I know that's not how it works. 
And that's a nice easy 5 kill for draw. I'm gonna redraw. I want to pull my blizzard bottle before I press it. Oh, sweet. That was easy. And now I just freeze Warthog and we're done, I think. Right? Is it over? I think it's over. I'm just, I'm scared, you know? It's easy to be afraid in this fight. We'll Blizzard Bottle Warthog, we'll Skull Misty on Bird. Like this, yeah. Skull Misty Bird next turn. I was thinking about Skull Misty right now, but I don't think it's right. Skull Misty now. We're gonna take two on Groff, and then Groff is gonna... Actually, Groff is just gonna kill everything, right? I'm not sure. I don't know, it takes two hits to kill the Warthog. So one hit here. One hit there. Uh, it's three times six. Now what we saw there, important thing to notice, is that we smack back between each frenzy hit. So it's gonna go one, one, two, one, one, two. So I'm pretty sure Groff just wins this naturally. Because it's like, you're doing you're doing 32 per hit, yeah, you're fine. We just saw that it works this way. The only time where you, uh, where the enemy gets their full hit in is if you're in a smackback duel, I believe. So like if a warthog, if I hit into a warthog who has two smackbacks, I would hit him, he would hit me twice, and then I would hit him twice in response with my smackback, right? And it would just duel back and forth until one of them dies. I believe is how it works. Not 100% though. Give me crown. Grabber is pretty cool. Let's see what else we have, though. I'm probably going to take Grabber. I'd love for a sacrifice off of Grabber, but I don't have anything. I'll still take it. I don't have any 1 HP clunkers for it, unfortunately. Frenzy consume? Hmm. I did pull Lumen Ring, but I have nothing for Lumen Ring here, unfortunately. It's kind of sad. I wish I had Chuckle Charm, but that's just every day. No reason to crown grabber. It's good later. I'm gonna take it off a of Mega Mimic. Or, oh, you know what I could do? I could Skull Miss T Mega Mimic on turn one. Yeah, I like that actually. Not allowed to double Skull Miss T. Cowards. Let me do it. I'm gonna grab a second Skull Miss T as well. Yeah, I like this. So it'll go Mega Mimic and T turn one. Actually. Oh, uh, it. Uh. I think maybe it's not that good, because we're fucking with the explosion. Excuse me, Mega Mimic, please. I'm I'm begging you. Don't make me look so silly. Let's do 2-2 two, two and Agile Battle Axe turn one, then. I'm going to grab a second Skull Miss T, because at the end of the day, it does still say kill an enemy. Or, kill, sorry, kill an ally. Imagine if that could be played with enemies. Whew. Any card that says kill an enemy is broken. There's no way you can make it okay. Yeah, we kept the Blizzard Bottle for the turn one on Spike Wall, of course. Good to be safe. Go up to 10 here. Kill Bird. Hero here. I guess I have to do three to the Frost Guardian because I played Battle Axe. I could have done it differently, but you know. What's done is done. Hmm. Interesting. It's a little bit of a tough spot, I would argue. Because I'm going to have to take a hit from the Frost Guardian. And we're not particularly survivable. I'm gonna press the bell here. Yeah, I wanted to wait. I, I want these. I want Skull Miss T. So we're gonna let the Frost Guardian hit into our bird. Next turn. You kill. I guess let me press the bell, because these guys are going to spawn, so I may as well see what I'm up against. That does change things quite a bit. I'm glad I did that. Because now I can have Groff kill kill the Bigfoot off of the Spike Wall in three turns, which is nice for me. Good to have that info. Think it's it's getting harder and harder the longer this fight goes on for me to keep this all in order mentally. Mega Mimic hits Grizzle. I'm fine with that. Frost Guardian hits a three. I think I'm okay with that three hitting my champ. 
Oh, I actually, you know what? Give me give me 20 overburn on Frost Guardian here. That's way better. For 3 damage? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I played Dungeon behind. You hit me, I hit you. So I haven't played Skull Misty yet. Now I play... Skull Misty. Yeah, definitely I play Skull Misty now. On Bird. And we're gonna go one Skull Misty now. That dies. Oh, it doesn't explode because I played Skull Misty. Ah, I'm so silly. It's okay because Skull Misty gives me so much damage I kill everything, but I did not think that through completely. I did miss a little bit of a fact there. Uba Bear! He got my ass. I got. You know what? Uba Bear? That one's fair. I'll give it to you, Uba Bear. Well played. Well played, well played. You can have that one. Okay, so playing... Here's the deal. It's very easy to get lost in the sauce here and just slam Skull Misty on Chikasan. The problem with that is that your next kill is pretty far away. Well, actually, it's not that far away, come to think of it, because I can just Tarblade Junjun. I'm happy with this Junjun swinging once and then going away, actually, so never mind. I like Skull Misty in here, because we're going to clean up the bottom half. Junjun... Swings up here, kills one. We see what spawns. I knew it had to be an Ice Forge. I'm just not happy about it. There's a 12 from the Frost Guardian here. Hmm. It starts to get a little bit tricky, doesn't it? I think the play now is just go for him here. We're gonna go in for the kill. Perhaps. But I can't kill this Junjun easily. This is where our deck has... I mean, really, the problem with this deck now is that our hero is supposed to be our closer in this fight when we're out of steam. Because in the, in the final fight, we're not going to run out of steam. Our hero is supposed to close this fight out. But can't because I got Uba Baird. Because of course I got Uba Baird. Uh, we could play Grabber Grink. You're doing 10 naturally, but it'll be 12 if I kill the Ice Forge. I can play Snow Cake here. Oh, I have it. I have an idea. We can play Grabber Grink. And then Berry Bell to let Junjun tank this entire round. That's okay. Because she brings this Grinky to one. Then takes a three. I want my bird to get hit. But the problem is that my bird is going to die. And I'm running out of ways to tank Frost Guardian if I sit on this hand. Right? I can snow cake him for one. I want to remove the Ice Forge. I do believe. The problem is that if I let my bird go, I'm just kind of trapped, right? I have no... I have no more ways to sacrifice, because Junjuns have to tank Frost Guardian. So I need to do controlled damage on my bird. Which I think means I need to pull a, pull a Junjun here. Okay, because I want three... I want three six to hit my bird, and then my bird is at two and I can Tarblade. So I think I'm going to redraw for Junjun. Hmm. A little bit of an issue here, though, isn't it? Just a, just a little bit of an issue here, huh? Curious. Indeed. Very strange. Junjun can't tank is the problem, because Junjun dies to the Grink, because I left the Ice Forge up. It's okay, I think. So it's gonna go, because Chigashi tanks the whole round. I play Junjun Mask here, where it takes 3 and then dies to 12, 
There's a three from the Grink, which Groff hits, and then because of the weakness, we'll have an overburn explosion cleanup here. I'm gonna play Agile Battle Axe. My hero ties the Frost Guardian, so I tank it with Jun Jun. Oh, tricky. Okay, it's fine. It's still okay. So my hero tanks, but I'm winning shortly. I have it now for sure. I have it now for sure. Because my hero wins the... My hero doesn't tie. My hero wins. My hero goes again next turn. Okay. And there we have it. That was a tough one. That was a pretty hard fight. We just ran out of things to sacrifice. I mean, but like... Again, the problem with that fight is that I got uba bared Because my hero getting delayed two turns put me on the clock there in a way that I wasn't supposed to be on the clock there. And also the Skull Mist tea kind of hurt me more than it helped me. But that's okay. I'm going to move off of Blizzard Bottle and over to Snow Cake. And I guess I'll put out Lumen Ring. I haven't taken my screenshots yet for this run. I should do that soon. But I don't know what I'm going to do. I mean, I'm going to put Overburn Groff in the logo. Or in the... In the thing for sure. Let's see. Do I want to play Skull Mist T turn one? Do I really want to play Agile Battle Axe turn one? I don't think so. I want to go. I want to go. I'm thinking about Grabber for Overburn explosion immediately, and then we freeze the other one. No, I don't think so. I also don't really want to play Snowcake turn one. I'd like to avoid any consumes on turn one. I can let the bird go. So we'll go Blizzard Bottle. So it's 10-20. Ah, isn't it? Play a Jun Jun. So we're gonna play Groff Frontlines versus the Junker with the Vase. So I want the I want the Smack Bag value here. We play Hero Top with the Bird and the Jun Jun. I'm not going to kill the bird turn one. I'll be honest with you, I could have spent more time figuring out specifically what I wanted to do here, but I was sick of thinking. It's going to be a lot easier if I just go in and see the fight. So you got 10-20. This should be in the bag, I believe. And 20. I'm gonna play Grabber, I think. Does Bird get moved to the front here? Do you know? I wonder. It's unmovable. I wonder if... I wonder if that works. How much do I care about the one extra damage? I don't think I care that much, actually. So I'm gonna do this. Oh, Bird does get moved to the front. Cool. Right. And then I'm gonna take... Th three here to go to 40. Yeah. This overburn is curious because I'm actually kind of wasting it now, I realize. Unless I find a way to deal four. I have three. No, it's fine. I can just say I wasted it. It's okay. It goes kill bird. We go up to 60 here. The real remaining question, I think it's actually fine to let the Junker hit Groff, come to think of it. Because I can play Skull Misty, but I'm not in a rush, right? I don't think so. Why would I play Skullman's T here? You're at 9, you take 5, this explodes. Uh, yeah, you, you only take 5. This dies, and it causes a chain reaction which wipes the bottom row. And so I can just kind of sit. 
Yeah. The five on the top doesn't bother me either. I will play Agile Battle Axe here. You take five. Don't mind the barrage. Explodes, chain reacts. Looks good to me. Okay, I'm gonna pause here to take my screenshots. I will be right back. You sit tight. All right, let's wrap it up, shall we? Well, let's not get uh, overconfident, actually, because once my bird is gone, it's a little bit... It becomes another question of where do the rest of my sacrifices come from. So we'll play it accordingly. Grab her the bird. Because I do have a little bit of damage barreling down on me, and it's not like Grok wins instantly here. So let's wrap it up with respect, right? It's uh, 10, and then it's... So you're at 43 here pretty shortly. Bird can tank all six of this, and we go blade on the Jun Jun. Groff goes, we're four away, and then I play Agile Battle Axe for the win. Oh, not quite. There you go. That is the win. It's always strange when you get an overburn explosion on the front enemy in this fight, and it doesn't kill the whole row. But, hey, a win's a win, we take those. It was a tough one. A few mistakes here and there, but nothing that wasn't uh, recoverable. And I don't mind that. Pretty pretty fun run. I love Overburn. Very enjoyable. Big boom. 51 Overburn kills. I think that's like an entire achievement, isn't it? What's the achievement? I'll find it. Hold on. 15 enemies with, with Shroom. Redraw Bell. Is there not an... There's definitely an Overburn achievement, right? Am I... Am I wrong? I know the Smackback one. That's a killer. Shroom? I'm probably just not seeing it, and you're, like, yelling at the screen right now. But, or I'm just misremembering. Either way, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave me a like, subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.